Oh. Uh, did we just Blood get our damage. whole spine punched in half? <laughs> um. Hey, Holly. Oh, flash. Oh. <laughs> Did Leona just punch our whole spine in half? I I can't sleep. That's not my problem. Huh, I can fix that. Uh, Behold my special move. Oh, now we're getting our oh. spine punched in half. Oh shit. Leona. Okay, okay, I'm up. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Ugh. Yana. Huh? What's that you got there? Just a book. Want to see it? Oh, Pause. Wow. Oh. I don't remember mom buying this. Younger, older, twin. I. She looks older, but maybe that's just me deluding myself. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know, like, because of the perspective of this, it makes it look like she's super tall, but it might just be because, like, we're laying in bed, is what I mean. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go with younger or twin. Mm. Mm hmm Because I don't think your older sibling wakes you up like that. See, you say this, but there's some... <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Are you saying this from experience? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, we. Exactly. See, it's a friend's. We have to give it back. It was a loan. Oh my god. It's a loan of a loan. <laughs> Holy shit. See? Her name's Kylie. She's strong and brave. Just like someone else I know. Uh, okay, me? Maybe she is older. Oh. You really think so? Nah, just trying to get on your good side. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, but here's the coolest part. She's... She's a witch. Uh, what? Rihanna, you know how mom gets... Remember what happened when you brought home that toy devil -y? Dragon. It was a dragon. It's not my fault mom wasn't listening. And she's still not going to listen if she finds something like this. Look, Liana, you need to stop getting yourself in trouble. Don't worry so much. I'll just hide it in a place she'll never find. But... <sighs> just give it back as soon as you can. Well, about that... You see... I was... Um... Thinking... Maybe... We could read it together? Just like how we used to? Really? Y yeah, but if you don't want to, no, it's okay. Sure, we can read it, but only because the cover looks cool. <laughs> Come on over here. Watertight <laughs> argument. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. The whispering forest. The sky was a muddy brown. You turned the page already? As brown and muddy as the grounds <laughs> around St. Mary's Orphanage. Despite this, Kylie was determined to give her little sister Farley the best birthday ever. Oh, Kylie has a sister? I is that her picture? I like her. She's mine. I'm doing her voice. <laughs> you don't even know her yet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got this feeling. She's gonna die. She's a hundred percent dead. Shh, quiet. Just stay still. Oh, I meant the book character. Oh. I think your mom's possessed. <laughs> a whole ass monster. Can't move. Oh no. Oh no. And that monk statue has an onion on his head. I can't move. It's okay, just look at the onion man. Just look at the onion man. It's fine. I'm just stuck in between sleeping and waking oh, up. Oh no. Just breathe, Holly. 
Great. Oh! Oh! Oh no, oh, Onion Man isn't that. safe anymore. Uh oh. That sound. Relax, it's just singing. Just prayers. Sounds kinda nice, right? <laughs> like a lullaby. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep, Holly. Just relax. And definitely close your eyes. Definitely do that. Just hearing things. Onion Man betrayed us. God damn it, Onion Man. Oh, wait. Are we the old lady now? I don't know. Interesting. Should I take over for this bit? Yeah, you can take over. There it is, the first rays of morning light. Breathe deep. Take it in. Oh, for sure. We're uh, another day. Another brilliant gift from God. <laughs> another opportunity to serve. Yes, girl. I'm Get it. quite ple <laughs> <laughs> quite um. pleased with it, though it still won't wouldn't be enough for her. Huh? Cracks still need to be filled. For the demon lady we're serving. Blemishes. Ah, yes, of course. Blemishes need to be sanded. And, of course, a new coat of paint. But for now, well, there are more important matters. <laughs> I can't be distracted. <laughs> oh, dearest Heavenly Father. <laughs> you visited me in your dreams last night. Don't worry. I remember, wink. Uh, in my hands you put a chisel, in the other the Holy Bible, and their use was perfectly clear. Was it? Once again, we now host young and impressionable guests on these sacred grounds. It's been a while, I'm nervous. Just a bit, though. I only ask that you give me the strength, the strength to be a worthy mentor in the coming days. May your teachings guide my words that I may impart wisdom. May your hands guide mine as I form these young girls to be the women you want them to be. Amen. <laughs> Good job. I had phlegm in my throat. <laughs> I, I blame the words that I had to read. <clears throat> Best get ready. We've got a busy day ahead of us, after all. Oh, wow. Oh. Liana? Huh? Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Oh. Um. Sorry. It's nothing. You've got 30 minutes. Let's get ready. Wouldn't want to be late now, would we? Yeah, sure. No white walls, no flower curtains. Well, I mean, the walls are kind of white. Uh, so they're supposed to be white. <laughs> no mom, no Liana. You're not home, get a grip, Holly. New place, new day, new you. You've got this. Remember, no distractions. Lovely morning, Sister Adira. Hmm. Why, yes. A lovely morning, indeed. If you were here just a bit earlier, you would have caught the sun shining right through that window. Uh, it, it's still shining? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. The little things you notice when you take the time to stop and listen. And that's why we're here, isn't it? <sighs> yep, sure is. <laughs> Absolutely. 50 years ago, <laughs> oh, our no. founder, Saint <laughs> Idolora, built this convent in order to train young girls such as yourselves to be proper ladies. Ladies worthy of becoming saints. During her time, the most beautiful flowers bloomed all over the convent. Oh, and the statues. 
With her skilled hands, in the right light, they'd look so real. Then, of course, the girls. Like scared little lambs, they arrived. Sick and broken. But Mother Idolora, oh, she healed them. She fixed them. They all uh -huh. emerged as lovely little angels. Hmm. Lovely little angels. Mom would call us that all the time. Ugh. In front of her friends. In the coming days, I think oh, she God. as a mother. Oh, God. When oh, this is getting worse. Or confession, you may come to me. Yeah, I'll consider it. <laughs> Why is Gabby even here for real? Thank you, sister. That's a very kind gesture. Now, before we start, here's a quick schedule of the recollection. Oh. Uh, uh huh. Led uh, by uh -huh. Adira, all of them. You look a little understaffed. Honestly, is there anybody else here? It's all just her. Oh, yes? Any questions? None! This all looks really exciting! <coughs> it is. Most of your oh. time will consist of silent recollection and prayer sessions. At the very last second, I noticed one of them that was like, something about women embracing your natural role. Oh no. Oh no, the dog is barking. Oh, oh no. This is unfortunate. But, as I've said before, aside from reflection, we shall also task you with action. What type of action, action are we talking about? Simple Oops. I, <laughs> I was trying to- I was looking over to see how loud the, the, uh, the noises in the rest of the house were, and I clicked. <laughs> Uh huh. No, because I thought I heard something else out there, and I was like, "Huh?" Oh, I got distracted. <laughs> we were all a little distracted. <laughs> it was just the like a hammer to glass. Oh, okay. Like a hammer to glass. Zooey mama. Zooey mama. And I expect you to attend to it with the utmost care. This is a holy place, after all. Newly inducted nuns have done similar things in the past. If any of you find yourself hearing the call, well, think of this as a great training opportunity. No promises. You could have just nodded your head. <laughs> Why make this easy? <laughs> I expect none. But you may be surprised. The call finds us at the strangest of times in the strangest of places now to start off let's have a bit of an exercise now shall we i'd like to show you something oh oh jesus that was a horrible sound oh, fucking jesus. honestly the face of a saint if i ever saw one she has no face <laughs> yeah exactly the face of a saint is an empty one there's no second guessing no desperate search for her place in the world she is content to know that she is exactly where god wants her to be hmm. however sadly <laughs> this is not always the case the world is moving so fast these days people coming up with all sorts of answers to their problems all sorts of crazy answers <laughs> So many opportunities are now open to bright young women such as yourselves. You can be anything. Didn't Scientists, you tell us to be anything? Lawyers, <laughs> women, physicians, even artists. And they're all even artists. In narratives of fulfillment and prestige. And at times they can sound so appealing. But us women, we should not let ourselves get distracted from what really matters god and family Ugh. Holly, please come over here yeah sure now 
I want you to write down all the things that might be stopping you from being a proper child huh? of God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that should be easy. Really? A this lie. is. Allow <laughs> me to put all those Christian life education classes to good use. Oh, I love how both of these are like, she'd like that. All right. Oh, God. Uh, Oh god. Ugh. I really don't even know, man. I'm thinking modern society. I think mm. I think she's she's in tune. <laughs> she's she's an old person is what you're saying. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> well, the way I see it, with all the progress we've made as a society, we failed to take our faith into consideration. As such, we're surrounded by so many distractions that tempt us. Yes, yes. It's oh. quite clear that you've been paying attention, Miss Beltran. <laughs> I don't like this bitch. She didn't oh like that. God. But we're here to talk about you. Oh. What are the things that hinder you from becoming a child of God? Me? I'm... Perfect. There's, there's nothing. Uh, I'm perfectly fine. Oh no. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> All that stuff last year, I'm already over it. Um, Done. Dusted. <laughs> What's the stuff that mom always complains about? Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, unpack, unpack all of the, all the hurtful words that have been thrown at you. Maybe talk about those? American celebrities, party culture, or reproductive health? Huh? <laughs> this is terrible. This- it really is. There's, there's... I don't want to pick this time. <laughs> okay. I- Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I just- I'm so- I don't even... Truly, what the fuck are we gonna say if we pick reproductive health? Right? I'm so curious. I have to well, know. I feel like it's gonna I... be something about, like, chastity. Mmm. It's so weird, though, then, that it's worded this way instead of... If you're not chast, you get STDs. <laughs> Wait, I saved, right? I think yes. I did. Yeah. Um, or maybe we just won't say anything, no well, matter what we pick. The stuff about reproductive Miss Beltran, I recall confiscating a particular book oh, from you the it other It didn't day. matter. Oh. Oh. That. Of course she'd bring up that. Well, that stuff... It really isn't a big deal or anything. I'm sure there are other things. Oftentimes, I find it best that we start with the small things. But if you want, perhaps we can talk about other things. Your family life, perhaps? Is she about to be like, no, never mind, let's talk about that book. <sighs> My family life. Oh, maybe you should talk about it. Hmm. hmm. I'm not gonna lie, most of my choices so far have been um, propelled by curiosity, so I feel like you know what I'm gonna pick based off of that. Um, I agree. You agree? I agree. Okay. I... Oh. Nope. Just nope. kidding. Oh, we have the emotional constipation. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Is everything all right, Holly? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, oh no. Let's stick to the small things. <laughs> Why'd you just write it on the face? Right? Why couldn't you have written it on the side? To examine any other pieces of literature that you might be reading, 
There is a special place in hell for people who lure oh. children to sin, and all in the guise of fanciful tales and happy endings. Hell. It's always hell, isn't it? It really is. These people are obsessed with hell. Right. I just want to read my stories. Jeez. Chill out. It's just a book. <laughs> just a book? So is the Bible. And yet, such a book has built cathedrals, formed nations. A real wild uh, overreaction. Souls. In the wrong hands, don't you think the opposite is also possible? Look, I really don't see the problem here. Kylie's a good witch. <gasps> oh my god, she knows the book. The day. In the end, that's all that matters, right? Just what is she doing? This. This isn't an argument you're going to win. <laughs> you're simplifying the matter, Gabriella. These things, these stories, I know it all must seem harmless at first. It's all just make-believe after all. Brightly colored spells and magical creatures. They make it so easy to get caught up in the, the fantasy. But understand, these are all seductions they distract and that at its core these spells and rituals and familiars it all leads back to the occult we've all strayed so far <laughs> in the old testament people like kylie would have Jesus. been stoned to death yeah so um what's up with that right oh i'm sorry are you saying that's a good thing Miss Rivera, why don't you give this activity a try? I hope she writes your mom. <laughs> She'll be up in my bed every night, bro. I'm trying to get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> Do you think your life is perfect, Miss Rivera? No, of course not. We're all far from perfect here. Hey. But my mind's just drawing blanks right now. Then perhaps I can be of help. Ugh. More often than not, I find that the biggest obstacle young girls like you often face lies in the environment you place yourself in. Good grief. See. <laughs> hmm. Let's reflect on your friends. Have they been a positive influence? Yeah, they have. Helped me through pretty tough times. Your mother has told me a different story. Really now? Yes. Sneaking out to these social gatherings. Coming home late at night. Surrounding yourself with the wrong sort of people. The wrong sort? Please understand. It's not entirely your fault. I was young once. I know how it's like. We're at a very sensitive age. And it's at this time that young girls are met with a whole new world of temptations. Yeah, whatever. Look, just drop it. It is easy to mistake desire ah, for uh, love. But true, uh, love, yeah. true love can only occur between a chaste man and a chaste woman. Oof. Stop. Gabriella, running away will only serve to worsen your struggle if you would simply be honest. Shut up! Oh. Only you can help yourself, Miss Rivera. I am merely a witness. The scars you have are Far worse. You can't see them. But they dig deep. Deep at your soul. Miss Beltran, I would like your opinion. Oh, God. Uh, girl, don't bring me into Boy, this. this we really are. Have I done something wrong? Do I upset you? <laughs> Why me? God. Oh, great. I should just say something, anything to just stop this. 
Uh, honestly, Odira needs to take a chill pill. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because the calm down is never the right answer. <laughs> Just calm down. <laughs> it doesn't help anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God damn it, none of our answers matter. I told I didn't tell you, but this is what I was thinking. <laughs> nope. That's not gonna work. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll just make her mad. Raised voices, shouting, then a whole new set of rules to make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. We're in hell. I, I I just thought of another thing to write down. TV, it distracts me all the time. My crates aren't as high as they could be, but if I just cut down on my TV time, I know I can focus. Hmm. It takes real courage to improve yourself. And right now, Miss Please Polly don't. here is being very brave. <laughs> oh no. And I know you can be brave as well, Gabriella. Whatever. Done here. Oh my god, Why very stompy. So Jesus, right? That's the kind of stomping that's like so purposeful where you're like goofily walking to stomp. Right? <laughs> Miss Beltran, I'd like you to open your prayer book, page 32, Psalm 103, verse 10. That's how you say that? I always said psalm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's Psalm. The P is silent. Like in most Psalm. words where the P is at the beginning, <laughs> followed by another, like, consonant. Please say a prayer for Miss Gabriella, that she will allow herself to be healed by God's loving grace. Oh, God. Afterwards, you may have a short break. We'll start again once I ring the bell. Yes, sister. Here we go again. Sorry, I clicked so fast. Too much to ask for. It's fine. I guess it was. No peace here. Only violence. Oh. She's here. I guess I should go talk to her. Why would you think that? But truly, truly, she's clearly just trying to get some shit out, and you're like, hmm, let me go put myself in the crossfire. <laughs> I mean, what she said, defending the Kylie Taylor books, that was pretty cool. But still, does she seriously think she's going to get a nun to see things her way? Things like that doesn't help. It never did. Just more fighting. Fighting and noise, that's all it ever leads to. <sighs> this is why our inner and outer thoughts are so discordant, is because we really are that kid who's like, just don't speak up. It doesn't help. <laughs> just don't do it. You know what to do, Holly. Hey there. How are you doing? Okay. What do you think? You know your crowd, girl. <laughs> Right on cue. So we're doing this again, huh? Uh, oh, well. Ooh, what happened back there was pretty weird, wasn't it? Weird. Uh, okay. Um, maybe not the best choice of words. <laughs> nope. Great. This is awkward. What are you up to? We're so stupid. What's it to you? Nothing. I was just um wondering. We'll never like it when I don't. We know. have to have zero friends. Father. Right. Probably Liana was the only one, and now she's d probably dead. Mm-hmm. She'd always say, "Try channeling your anger into something more productive, Gabby." Oh. Pray. Read the Bible. I tried, you know. It's a good book with a lot of good ideas. But for some reason, you people like dwelling on some things more than others. Throwing stones, for instance. So don't mind me. I'm 
I'm just following her advice. I... I see. Helps if you find the big ones. Oh, whoever throwing Such stones. Throwing, though. <laughs> it's the nice, juicy crack you get when it hits something. You know what I mean? I certainly think I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I can't say that I do. Figures. Oh boy. I gotta find a way to get to her. If I don't, she's just gonna fight with the deer again. And I don't want to keep dealing with that. <laughs> this is my problem now. Um. Oh, God. We are not volunteering to clear up any misunderstandings. Nope, no Absolutely it not. Just ignore that lady. Yeah. I know you're having trouble dealing with Adira. If it helps, whenever people say things that upset me... I try humming a nice little tune in my Just head. Just dissociate. It works every <laughs> time. Sometimes I even think of a scene from my favorite story to match the song. Then afterwards, well, I can go about the rest of my day like nothing happened. <laughs> Sounds like a great way to let people walk all over you. It's worked so far, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. No, it's a way to keep things peaceful and happy for everybody. Except yourself. <laughs> Why is she being so difficult? <laughs> Look, we're both stuck here with her. And we're clearly not changing her mind. Fighting with her like this, it's just gonna make it hard for all of us. I just thought it might be better if we all get along. That's all. Please, just let me help you out. Help me out? I hear that a lot back home. I hear it so often, it doesn't really mean anything anymore. Adira wants to help me, you want to help me. <laughs> For some reason, everywhere I go, people seem so eager to help me. Especially when it suits them. Well, how about this? I'll help myself. And you? You keep to yourself. I... This isn't going anywhere, is it? <laughs> oh, would you look at that? All out of stones. Anyway, don't let me spoil the mood. After all, you seem to be doing just fine here. Well, that went well. Ah, she missed one. She was lying, <laughs> dumbass. There were plenty of stones here. Oh. Well, she wasn't lying about that, though. <laughs> Hey, that does feel good. That crack over the stone hits. <laughs> For the afternoon, we had a prayer session topped off with a lecture on feminine etiquette and the dangers of dating. Dear God. All very insightful. All things I'm used to. Dinner was awkward. I let Grace and Gabriella, well... She just kept quiet. Could have been worse. That's also something I'm used to. 